Hey guys, the Mad Stacker here with another LEGO set review. This time it's a little bit of a classic set. 5888-1, the Ocean Interceptor from the Dino line. This one I was actually lucky enough to find in Toys R Us uh, a couple days ago for a very decent price. They had a couple of them and I picked them up hoping that I could uh, flip them on eBay. But this is the Dino Interceptor. It's, uh, it's really neat. This is a set from 2012. It's 222 pieces. It's bigger than it looks at 222 pieces. Retails for $34.99. I got mine for $27, thankfully. Uh, it is a little bit harder to find than that now. It was a two Toys R Us exclusive, apparently. So uh, that I guess they must have had them in, a, in the back somewhere. They just left them behind and uh, put them out the other day. So here it is. This is the Ocean Interceptor. This is a beast of a twin prop seaplane but it is really cool looking i don't know why they went with yellow uh i understand it's it's kind of supposed to be like a jurassic park sort of a line so the the bright neon yellow i don't really know why they went with that uh it does i mean these the the just the the two side wings the pontoons and everything it looks really cool it looks almost like some kind of crazy spaceship uh, I don't know if the uh, the red zebra stripes are doing it any favors in that department, but it does have a, a bunch of really neat features. Uh, there's the guy in the cockpit there. The cockpit has some really neat uh, printed tiles on it. I'm going to see if I can pry one of these off. This is really cool. This is kind of supposed to be the steering mechanism. And, oh, we, the pterodactyl's in the distance. we got to go get them. That just flicks right in there in the front. It's, I mean, it's a, it's a really solid set, too, which is nice. I feel like it would stand up to some uh, some serious play. So that's always good. It does have a couple of really neat features. Uh, one of the main ones being this thing in the back here kind of pops off if you can get it out. There we go. I have him laying down right now so that he can fit back there because if he's standing up, he doesn't really fit while the thing is standing under the plane. But he's got, uh, there's this little jet ski that detaches from the back with the uh, the Hero Ballistics Vest, which uh, apparently he's only in this set. I don't know if he's only in this set in this combination with the hair or what, but uh, he's pretty extreme looking. I really like this concept. I hadn't thought of this before, but they have these, uh, the clip, a, a version of the clip rifles, which they have now with a lot of the movie sets. But uh, this one obviously looks a little, uh, a little more rugged. But they, they just shoved a syringe in there, and now it's a tranquilizer rifle. I really like that. I think that's a neat a neat idea. Um, the one thing I did think was really neat about this is that is actually a pre-printed piece on the front. That is not uh, a decal or anything that you had to apply. That That's already on there, so I think that makes it a neat little piece there. And that just fits right back here on the back of the plane. Obviously, not while he's standing up, because then it's way too big. Although... I don't know, I feel like you could just take these pins out and then it would be easier to kind of just have him be down there. Um, it does have a flick missile at the top. It only has one, thankfully, which I thought was kind of a weird addition to this set in that case. Uh, the biggest the biggest draw I found of this is that mechanism right there, which I had no idea how this was going to work until I finished the set, which was one of my favorite things about the build, is that's actually a me mechanism for uh, launching the net. It has a net cannon uh, with these little the little missiles that you uh, that you sh shove into the bottom of the plane there. I thought that was really cool how it works. It actually kind of like spreads out when you launch it, which I thought was really neat. It is a little bit of a deuce to get back in there. You just kind of shove it up into the shove the missiles up into those holes, and that's actually there's just a plate at the top there. You can see it where uh, you just basically put together a little upside down plate in there and it fires both of the missiles at once it's a little tough to get the net shoved back in there well but uh it does its job uh that that was actually one of my favorite things about the whole build of this thing was finally figuring out how that net launcher worked uh the decals were a little iffy uh they, they are the kind of classic uh paper decals and there are i mean there weren't that many of them there's only five really um but they, again, they, they, the, the whole concept that the plane is yellow and then it has these red tiger stripes on it was a little ridiculous to me, but uh, whatever. I guess it works. Um, the minifigs weren't really that spectacular. We got the little uh, generic pilot guy in the front. He's sweating, obviously nervous that he has to deal with these dinosaurs. 
and uh, and the little guy here on the back. The other, the big, the big dinosaur draw here was this pterodactyl, which supposedly is exclusive to this set. There was another set that had a pterodactyl. It was brown, however, as opposed to green. Uh, this thing is, I don't know, the head's all rubber, which I thought was interesting. It's not really hard. It's kind of, kind of very flexible, uh, but it does open and close and the wings move. Uh, it, it has little, uh, little hook feet, so it can kind of grab onto stuff. I don't know if it can, uh, oh no, it's taking him away. Um, but he also has studs on his back, which is cool. I feel like you could have a guy sit there and make yourself a, a dino knight or something. Oh dear. I forgot to prepare a minifig of the day for this one. Oh, well, you'll just have to live without one. I think today will be fine. Um, awesome extras. There was one. It did come with, barely see it, of course, an extra syringe. Uh, it's always nice to have an extra syringe, I think, for all your syringing needs. Uh, but that is going to be it, then, for the Ocean Interceptor. Uh, I thought it was a neat set. I was glad I got my hands on it. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed it.